I have been knitting around and around on my mitten and every other round as we talked about I have been adding a stitch making a stitch just on the inside of my marker and just in the inside of this marker and look nice little regular V that has been being built up for my thumb gusset now I want you to notice I'm basically at the base of my thumb you want to stretch it a little bit because when you wash your mitten it's going to you don't want this to be floppy so you go until you have knit the triangle and it's at the base of this V between your hand and your thumb so now you have all of these stitches that are essentially going to become your little tiny thumb mitten or thumb place let me show you what you do you are going to knit to the marker and all of these stitches are going to go on a piece of yarn and they're going to be held until you finish the rest of your mitten you don't have to think of them at all okay so I want you to thread a nice blunt needle and I want you to take all of the stitches and move them all the stitches that are in the V the ones in between your two markers now I will tell you you do want to knit one round on your last increase round knit one more plain round before you move the stitches over because you don't want to be moving the stitches over when you have an increased stitch sitting there so you've gone around knit a full plain round I'm moving everything over dropping my uh, markers okay so you pull your blunt needle through and you have your holding yarn now do you remember that you had two stitches right in the center of this V you kind of lost track of them now but remember they were here okay what you're going to do is you're now going to rejoin your circle okay but don't forget you have two stitches that were sitting here all of the rest of the stitches in your V you added but the two original were part of the very very original stitches you cast on for your mitten so what you're going to do is see how the yarn is sitting right here you finish knitting you put all of those stitches on a bit of yarn to hold them what you're going to do is use a backward loop so you just go one and two you don't want to forget those two stitches so you do one two and then you just go on and now what I want you to do is knit your mitten around and around and around when you get to your two backward loop stitches knit into the back of them so that you tighten them up a bit that's the only thing you need to remember but I want you to knit around and around and around let me just show you what's going on here okay again it's so nice because you've got nice flexible see this is your mitten look how wonderful that's going to be and all of those stitches you made you're going to put them together and they're going to make your thumb and you're going to come back later and knit them and I will show you how in the meantime now you're back to your original just plain old tube that's going up your hand you've taken care of the thumb I want you to just knit round and round and round until this comes to the very top of your little finger and then we will talk about the decreasing for the top of your mitten.